and welcome to Fame in 15, where we will deep dive into the gossip that has been taking over the internet. I'm Kayla C. with my partner in gossip, Ellie Marie Ramos. The fashion at the Met Gala is this top story on any celebrity gossip website. The theme this year was Sleeping Beauty's Reawakening Fashion, and the dress code was The Garden of Time, based on the story of J.G. Bollard. So... Zendaya came in with two looks. Uh, she arrived late with La Roche, which is her stylist. Uh, La announced, I believe, last year that he was quitting styling. Problem is, he continued only for Zendaya. Mm -hmm. um, Zendaya normally comes with two looks. Um, this year, she had a really beautiful dark blue dress, very editorial makeup. And then her second outfit had this huge head like piece. head piece. Yeah. yeah, it was gorgeous. She always she looks really all good. out. Yes, she knows how to pose too for her body. Yeah, of course. You know, and not even that. She always sticks to theme, mm -hmm. and that's what I admire the most. Um, what I think Lizzo had a pretty okay look. I feel like it could have been better, well rounded. Right. Um, she went into the garden theme. She did go into the garden theme yeah. a little bit, but I do think that this Met Gala, they went a little too far into neutral colors. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see more color pop. You know, it felt boring. And, you know, the theme was quite literally, you know, garden of time. Some people leaned into the time thing. I know Tyla had this beautiful sand dress made. Yeah, she looked really good. She mm -hmm. had also sand on her shoulders. Yep, sand yeah. makeup and like the hourglass purse as well. Mm -hmm. It fits so perfectly with the theme. It was perfect. I think it she nailed perfect. the theme probably For the her best. first Met Gala too? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, then we go into Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Rey's looks are very hit or miss. Did you like it? Eh, again, I'm not a fan of the neutrals. For some people, it worked. I think that what my problem with it was, was like the drape over Oh, her. yeah, absolutely. I think that the sticks poking out made it look kind of, I don't know, rudimentary. I feel like it would have looked better if she took that off and just had like, you know, the sticks up. Mm -hmm. um, but she's, you know, she's beautiful. She, can, she is beautiful. Yeah. Um, um, Sydney Sweeney had uh, dark hair and blunt bangs. bangs. Yep. yep. The thing is, she looks gorgeous in dark hair. It makes mm -hmm. her eyes pop. The bangs, though, hit her face a little yeah. more. Um, Sydney Sweeney is a gorgeous girl. I the dress like it, that she had was beautiful, too. It washed too. her out a little bit. It did wash her With, out. I think the bangs, like, it framed her face like a box. Weirdly. And then uh -huh. it just washed it out. She and not even pale. The, yeah, the bob was very blunt too mm -hmm. so it was just under her chin mm -hmm. and if it would have been long if it was a little longer or maybe even a little shorter it would have been fine i just think that length completely washed her out yeah um another thing is cardi b's all black look mm -hmm. knowing cardi b she has shown up for every met gala going crazy that woman knows her fashion love her or hate her she's good at what she does yeah she makes a big splash every time mm -hmm. and then all the um, kardashians were there too and the yeah. jenners yeah uh i don't think any of them really stood out to me no i mean kim kardashian had this tiny tiny waist and honestly that's about it yeah i mean kylie jenner everybody was saying oh she looks the best i, mean, I don't think so i mean it was a very plain like nude dress but um, that is all the time we have for the Met Gala. But hold on, and we will be back with two more topics. The Royal Purple, the best place for all the latest news around the community and campus of UW-Whitewater. Here you'll find all different types of weekly news stories, including sports, arts and rec, biz and tech, and even fun and interesting things like trendsetter columns and the tweet of the week. The Royal Purple has a full staff to handle all of your advertising and article needs. Ad managers and sale representatives can help you get your ad in seasonal print issues 
online at royalpurplenews.com and out on our social media platforms. Editors and journalists would love to write features about your organization and follow-ups about your important events. For more information on student employment opportunities, advertisement services, or anything news, contact the Royal Purple over at capital R, capital P, at uww.edu or give us a call at 262-472-5100. Stop by our office and say hi on campus in McCutcheon Hall, room 113. For all of your local campus community news, check out the Royal Purple here at University of Wisconsin-Whitewater. Welcome to Jitters Coffee House. Located on the first floor of the Wells Towers, Jitters is a student-run coffee lounge and offers a variety of coffee and ice cream-based drinks and is home to many entertaining programs, including live music, gamer trivia nights, and other performances. Coordinate your activity by emailing jitters at uww.edu. Jitters is completely run by volunteers who can earn service hours and even receive a free drink during their shift. Stop in tonight at Jitters Coffee House, where fun events and community come together. to fame and 15 our next topic is the roast of tom brady this premiered on netflix on sunday did you see the roast or parts I of it i personally did not see the roast i've seen parts of it only because it was related to a kia event i mm -hmm. believe um celebrity roasts are very common yeah i don't know if you remember the justin bieber one from a while oh, yeah. back that one was brutal but there were it was more personal this time, I think. Yeah. His teammates were there. His old coach was there. Kevin Hart was there. I believe Kim Kardashian was also there. Mm -hmm. She caused quite a stir over her yeah. O.J. Simpson joke. She um, caused a lot of a stir, I guess. Mm -hmm. There's videos of her where she got up to the podium and immediately starts getting booed. Yeah. I think a lot of people are sick of Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of Swifties are, are sick, sick of, of Kim, Kim Kardashian. Kardashian. And there's also rumors of her dating Tom Brady, which oh. people don't like. They kind of talked and joked about the rumors as well. Um, so kind of still in the air about it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a random pairing, but we saw Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson. It's <laughs> we, not the weirdest thing. We saw Kim seen. Kardashian with a lot of people. I don't think that. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised either. Yeah. I mean, he Chloe got, was a, with a lot of football players. Chloe was, yeah. Yeah, she almost married one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think another thing is he got mad at some point. He was taking a lot of the personal things very well. Oh. So they talked about his divorce, you know, the his deflated kids. football scandal, his kids at some point. But I believe someone crossed the line when making a joke about the owner mm -hmm. of the New England Patriots and a scandal that happened back in 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, he said some very harsh words. When that joke was when made. When that joke was made. Yeah. And then it was just kind of covered up with, oh, he's mad, next one. Yeah, brought more attention to the joke for sure. It is time for our favorite topic, who did it better? This segment, we will compare two different topics and decide which is better. Today, we are discussing the beef between Kendrick Lamar and Drake. They have been one-upping each other back and forth in their music. Okay, so. This huge, is messy. Very messy. Yeah. I think this is one of the messiest rap beefs we have seen in a long, long time. Yeah. So, first things first. Started when Drake released his last album, was it To All The Dogs, I mm -hmm. think? Uh, there's a song on it called First Person Shooter with J. Cole. Um, they start like sneak dissing 
very heavily. Yeah. Um, they keep saying like they're the greats. Yeah. Everybody else isn't. Yeah. 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 There's a big three. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. So, what comes into this timeline as well is Megan Thee Stallion releases her song Hiss earlier this year, mm -hmm. which is a direct diss towards Drake. A lot of her lyrics hint towards you know him faking his accent, mm -hmm. uh, his surgeries, and his views on women. Um, and I believe that kind of gave everyone the okay to start pushing on Drake. So Metro Boomin and Future linked up to release their album titled We Don't, we don't Trust, Trust You. There was two albums yes. they released back to back too. Back to back, yes. And in We Don't Trust You, they have like hidden features. Kendrick Lamar was one of the hidden features for their song Like That. Mm -hmm. um, and he makes a very direct diss. His entire verse is so direct. Um, after that, I think it just kind of spiraled. And right now where we're at is everybody's kind of been attacking uh, Drake with direct diss tracks and Kendrick Lamar specifically. He, <laughs> he, has, he has made a lot of claims and, and allegations about Drake, uh, mm -hmm. about um, some of his habits mm -hmm. um, and secrets that he might have been hiding. Mm -hmm. And Drake had to, you know, clap back. Not really clapping back, though. It's just yeah. like... Drake's, Woody little Instagram story comments. Right. Drake's most recent response to Kendrick Lamar's diss track has more dislikes on YouTube than likes now at this point. I'm not surprised. Because I'm people, surprised. a lot of people are done with Drake. Mm -hmm. um, he also had uh, the SWAT team or the police raid at his house. mansion. Yeah. yeah. So kind of follows up with what he, what Kendrick was hinting towards with uh, In his not song. like us. Yeah. Yeah. That's all the time we have for today. We hope your gossip needs have been filled. We would like to thank you for watching Fame and 15 this semester. I'm Keila C with Ellie Marie Ramos. See you!